Hello everyone and welcome back to part 2 on how to make a simulator game series. So in the past tutorial I've showed you guys how to make this. So if you go ahead and play the game, you are you have a sword and when you click it it will give you a currency and it's all server sided so nobody can exploit that. And that's pretty cool cool but what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is adding a currency display GY as well as making a cell place and before we start this tutorial i just want to let you guys know that i have a patreon so if you guys want to follow the entire tutorial series or want to get every single uh, file of my tutorials it will be available in the ten dollar tier in patreon and let's start so what we're going to start with is by going to our main server script and fixing some bugs right here so the first thing we're going to do is uh copy these four lines and control x to cut and now in your modules inside of your player data script we will paste that in and instead of doing player add player data with a capital p and uh capital p we're gonna change that to player data like this now instead of requiring each module manually we're gonna loop through every single module so for i comma module in next and server modules on get children do if module con is a and module script just to check in case then uh repeat uh, actually before we do that we're gonna re we're gonna make this a bit safer so repeat wait 0 0.1 until or let's just make this weight lower 0 0.05 until uh, module after doing that we're going to require module now if you go ahead and play the game we don't have to require each mod module manually and it should work as intended which is really nice and now we're going to have to work on the selling system so to make a selling system we're going to have a cylinder which will be our basically our cellaring and i'm going to change the orientation to 90 on the z-axis so 90 degrees and i'm going to set its size to um uh, let's make it one comma or let's choose 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 comma 10 comma 10 and we have a cylinder right here after doing that we're gonna make the cylinder a bit bigger just like this and we can make it smaller and after doing that i'm going to give it a nice color which will be green for selling or even maybe a nice yellow and i'm going to make it neon after doing that we will make this value a bit lower just to make sure that it will it won't hurt anyone's eyes and we're gonna put it right here this will be our cell area so we're gonna make sure that we have something to indicate that it says sell so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add a folder in the workspace and rename it to scriptable objects and we will have this parented to the folder that we just created and we're gonna rename this to sell after doing that i'm going to add a surface gui to it and set the adorny of it to if I can actually find it, I don't need to sell. And always on top, make sure that's checked. And I'm going to add a text label to it and make the size of this to one comma zero comma one comma zero. And set the oh, what am I doing? Okay, I had a billboard GUI instead. So don't do what I just did. And set it's adorny this time to sell and always on top make sure that's checked and we're going to add a text label to it and we're going to change the size to one comma zero comma one comma zero and i'm going to make the background transparency one and the text um scale property true and the text color to a nice white and the text to cell and the font to for doka one 
I want to change this color because it's kind of annoying me. So I'm just going to make it green. And we have that nice silly UI, but we do have to change the size of this to 1, 0, 1, 0, or even bigger. So 5 and 5, and that's pretty good. But we do have to change some other stuff, just like, uh, I mean, like the max distance. We're going to change this to around 20 studs. So if you are near it it will display if you are far it won't so make sure that it's uh collidable i mean uh anchored and non-collidable sorry and what i'm going to do is add a module script inside of our modules uh folder and we're going to rename this one to cell now i'm going to uh, make a variable for the scriptable object so s uh, oh, I just realized that says so, so I'm going to change this to scriptable objects is equal to workspace dot scriptable objects. Now local cell is equal to scriptable objects dot cell. Now I'm going to do cell dot touched, can connect, function and we're gonna get what touched so be hit and i really don't know why i'm having this in module script but who cares really and here we're gonna create two variables so what to set local currency to sell so we're gonna set some strength and we're gonna do local to get currency uh, currency to get and that will be coins now we're gonna check if hit dot parent on um, find first child of class humanoid then we're gonna do local plr is equal to game dot players dot players column get player from character and hit dot parent and then we're gonna do if plr is not equal to nil then what we're gonna be doing is selling so currency um plr dot dot leader stats dot uh square brackets currency to get dot value plus equal uh plr dot leader stats and currency to get this time i mean to sell dot value and then plr dot leader stats currency to sell dot value is equal to zero i mean zero with a string and let's see if that works so I'm going to play the game. Hopefully this works. So we're going to try to get some strength. Sell it. And it works. Okay, that works. That works like a charm. All we have to do now is make a GUI for displaying how much money we got. So, quick tip. While making these currency displaying GUIs is to add a... Uh, actually, before we get to the tip we're going to create a screen gui which will be renamed to main ss for main screen gui and i'm going to have a frame inside of it and i'm going to scale it up put it in the center and i'm going to convert it to scale so plugins convert this to scale this plugin will be in the description and we're going to rename this frame to well currency label holder and i'm going to change the background transparency to one and i'm going to add a text label to it now i'm going to scale this text label however i want but before i do that i'm going to add to the frame a ui list layout and set the padding to 0 0.1 comma 0 and now 
if we just make this a bit bigger and each time we duplicate it it will use some space and it will be centered so vertical alignment center set this to center by the way and set this to center too no need to set that to center just change it to left and we'll remove both of these for now i'm just going to have one and i'm going to add a y corner to it and let me just do something that should be good i'm going to set the y corners corner radius 2.1 comma zero and i'm going to change the text scale property to true text color i'm going to keep and the text for example one point for example 1500 and i'm going to change the font to a font that i like so i'll I always go with uh for doka one but i want to try some other ones such as this one i think that font looks pretty nice and i'm going to rename this to display underscore strength and duplicate it and this will be display underscore coins now i'm going to have a local script inside of my main screen gy um uh, and rename it to main client and i'm going to have some variables so local i think we don't need that yet so local uh screen local main ss is equal to script parent and local clh clh for currency label holder is equal to uh main ss can wait for child that and what we're going to be doing is inside of each text label we'll have a string value this will be renamed to what to display and the value of this will be strength and the value and i'm going to copy this based inside of the coin one and set the value this time to coins after doing that i'm going to loop through for i comma v in pairs and clh con get children do if v con is a is a text label then we will get firstly the player right here so local plr is equal to game dot players players dot local player and if we coin is a text label then local local leader stats lc for leader stats currency is equal to plr dot leader stats and square brackets actually in here we're gonna do repeat weight 0 0.05 uh until v and that's kind of weird how i added this so v dot what to display dot value and v dot text is equal to lc and lc dot changed colon connect function and we're gonna just do v dot text is equal to plr dot leader stats dot okay I'm, i think i don't want this to be a variable so i'm just going to do that and remove this lc variable and that should be it i'm also going to put away one second just in case and now i'm going to try this out and see if it works so if i go ahead and join nothing happens great okay string expected uh, plr dot leader stats v dot what to display dot value string expected got instance so is this a string value and is this a string value 
Okay, I'm going to copy the name of this, paste it right here. I really don't know why this isn't working. So, label holder, um, string expected got instance. This isn't an instance, it's a string value. It's a value. Let's try that again. Okay, this is getting weird. Oh, I know. Now I know why. Do add a dot value right here. And add a dot value right here. And if you go ahead and play the game now, that should be working perfectly. As you can see, it works. And... In the next tutorial, we're going to be covering uh, buying some currency and maybe scripting some game passes. But before we do that, I think we're going to need to work on some shops. And uh, one of the most annoying things to do in a simulator, which is coding the egg hatching system. So we're going to be coding that too. And this is going to be it for today's tutorial. If this helps, please subscribe, like the video. I put a lot of efforts in these tutorials, so subscribing would be very appreciated. And with that being said, uh, bye.